How to tell if a relation is a function or not. We're going to use the vertical line test. That's the best thing to visually look at these things. So he, we have a relation here. It equals these set of points. We're going to go ahead and graph them. 4, comma, 0, right? Order is important. 2, negative 1, 2, negative 1. So when we plug in the 3 for an x, we get a 3 for a y. That's what that's saying. Negative 2, negative 2, up 1. Okay. Bam. Vertical line test. Only hits 1 point, 1 point, 1 point, 1 point. So this is, in fact, a function. Here's a different set, different relation, different numbers. So let's go ahead and plug these in. Negative 2, comma 1 again. 1, comma 2. Negative 2, negative 1, there's a problem right there, you can see that. Negative 3, comma, negative 2. Yeah, so this fails the vertical line test right here. Bam! So in other words, when you plug in a negative 2 for x, you have two different values that you could go to. That causes confusion, okay? So when we have this failing the vertical line test... We just say it's not a function because the definition of a function is that everything is unique. So in other words, for each x that you put in there, you would only get one option as a y. Okay? So here's some examples of other non-functions. Circles, right? Fails this test every time. Bam, 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 bam. Let's move the circle around. Whee! So in other words, if I plugged in one for x, what would you give me back as y? A positive 2 and a half or a negative 2 and a half, right? See the confusion there? So it's not a function. Anything where you can cross it more than once is not a function. And this is the big one right here, not a, func a function. Again, if I plugged in 4 for x, right? 1, 2, 3, 4 for x, what would you give me back in return? A positive 2 or a negative 2? Hard to tell. So that's what shoots it down as a function. But now, this is a, a common error. This is a function. Here's a set of points. Okay. Negative 2, comma, 1. 0, comma, 1. You'll notice they all have the same y. 3, 1. 4, 1. Now that's quite okay. You'll notice that it doesn't fail the vertical line test at all. But now you can have a, a bunch of different x's all having the same y as long as there's no confusion on where to go. So if I plug in 3 here, I know that I have to go to 1. That's the only option that I have for a y. So that makes this a function. Here's the best way to think that, the, that I think of it to tell if it's a function or not. Back in the old days, we had something called a telephone operator. right? You would call in. So if I was calling in, I would say, I'm the number 7, and she would automatically know exactly where to plug me in. Only one option. Hello, I'm number 2. She would, there would also be exactly one Y. Okay, so it's a strictly one-on-one -on -one function. But something like this, right, if I plugged in negative 2, she wouldn't know to connect me to positive 4 or to negative 3. You see where these lines come across there? So that means it's not a function. And here's how to apply that to equations. It's, this is going to be a huge help. Uh, what's not a function is y squared equals anything, except for 0, of course. 0 breaks in weird rules. But let me show you why. When you take the square root of y squared, you get a plus or minus thing. Plus or minus. So the square root of anything squared is always plus or minus. Here's an example x minus y squared equals 4, do a little algebra, take the square root of both sides. Now let's go ahead and get some points for this graph. If we plug in 0 for x, what do we get for y? That is a good question. Let's plug in 0 for x, and for y we get plus or minus the square root of 2. In other words, one of our options is 0 comma 2 while the other one could be 0, comma, negative 2. And that makes it not a function. Okay, you got more than one y to go to. And that causes a lot of confusion. And that's it. MGZ, out.